The AR-15 is what comes to mind when an assault weapons ban is discussed, but gun dealer Alex Fulmer says the proposed constitutional ban working to get on the 2020 ballot would go so much further. This uh, proposed legislation would include most of the hunting guns that you see on the wall up here. Um, anything that's semi-automatic that accepts a, uh, a magazine or has a tube feed capacity. The amendment does not ban high-capacity pistols like this one. Right now, these shotguns are designed to hold five rounds, but by extending this tube, they'll hold a dozen. That would make them banned under the proposal. The estimate economic impact on the economy. Because the ban is so encompassing, state economists charged with putting a dollar figure on the ban say it all comes down to the amendment's use of the word capable. That hinges on what sales you're prohibiting, what sales will no longer be allowed in Florida. Supporters of the ban from Moms Demand Action sat on one side of the room, opponents on the other. If you professionals can't agree on what capable means in this context, how on earth do you expect average citizens to understand it? Only one proponent spoke briefly. We can regulate guns for hunting, but we can't regulate guns for saving people's lives. That's all I have to say. Economists expect to put a dollar figure on the ban right after Labor Day. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda. Three, two, one. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, eight on your side. Three, two, one. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, News Channel 7. Three, two, one. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, TV 20 News. Three, two, one. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 3 News. Three, two, one. Mike Vasilinda, WCTV Eyewitness News, the capitol. Three, two, one. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, NBC 2. Three, two, one. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, ABC 7. Three, two, one. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station.